Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michalina and today I will show you my hurdy-gurdy pedal board that I use on stage with my band Lire. I need to preface this video by saying that I'm not exactly a gear geek and this pedal board and this video as well was put together with the help of my dear husband Piotr. Nevertheless, I'm really happy to present it to you, so let's get into it. On stage I use the MM Electric Hurdy Gurdy. You can watch a more detailed video about this instrument on my channel. I will put the link in the description. And also I use the Sennheiser XSW wireless system with it. The first pedal in my pedal board is the tuner. It is the Cork Pitch Black X. I use it to tune my hurdy gurdy on stage and often I need to tune between the songs. So I really wanted to have a big and clear screen on this tuner so that I can see it in complete darkness on stage. Next up we have the Graphic EQ by Moore. I use it at certain points of the set to boost the mid frequencies of my hurdy gurdy and to help it cut through the most dense part of the songs. When soloed it sounds a little bit nasal but it really helps the Gertie get through a wall of guitars when needed. <laughs> Next up we have the noise gate, it is the TC Electronics Iron Curtain. It helps to get rid of the unwanted sounds that can potentially be produced by the hurdy-gurdy when I am not playing. Now for my wah wah pedal I use the Crybaby Junior Wah by Dunlop. It is compact and it gets the job done and that's basically all I need from a wah wah pedal. <laughs> Now one of my favorite effects in this pedal board, which is the distortion, is the Nuex Tubeman MK2, which works as a tube screamer type of saturation. <laughs> And the last effect is the Nuex Optima Air. It is a multi-effect with an acoustic body simulation dedicated for electroacoustic and electric instruments. Since my stage hurdy-gurdy is fully electric, I need something to enhance the tone a little bit and also add some depth and body back to the sound. This effect also has a built-in reverb. It serves as a DI box with a balanced XLR output as well.
Okay, and that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in more hairdy gurdy content and some behind the scenes of this channel, I invite you to check out my Patreon community. The link to our hairdy gurdy store will be in the description. If you found this video interesting, please give it a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.